2024 begins with wars burning in Gaza, Sudan, Ukraine, and elsewhere. Peacemaking is in crisis. Here are crisis groups 10 conflicts to watch. The Hamas-led attack on 7 October and Israel's subsequent devastation of Gaza have opened a ghastly new chapter in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The human cost, already appalling, continues to climb. It could get worse. It's not a stretch to imagine mass displacement of Palestinians into Egypt. Finding a way out starts with recognizing that attempting to finish off Hamas, Israel's stated war aim, will leave Gaza uninhabitable. A ceasefire is imperative. The war in Gaza also threatens to spark a regional conflagration, as tensions escalate between the US and Israel on one side and Iran and its allies on the other. Flashpoints include the Lebanese-Israeli border and the Red Sea, where Yemen's Houthi rebels have been attacking cargo ships. Neither side wants such a confrontation, but there are plenty of ways the Gaza war could set one off. The all-out war between Sudan's army and the paramilitary rapid support forces has left thousands of people dead and displayed some 7 million more. The specter of genocide again haunts the western region of Darfur. Diplomacy to date has been lackluster. Much more urgent efforts are needed to prevent Sudan's collapse, which would have repercussions throughout the region. Russia's war in Ukraine grinds on. Kiev's counteroffensive has stalled, and the 600-mile front is barely moving. Meanwhile, Western support for Kiev may be wavering. The stakes are high. What happens on the battlefield, and potentially also in Western capitals, will define the future of European security. A rebel offensive in Myanmar's northeast is posing the biggest challenge yet to the junta that grabbed power in 2021. But the various ethnic armed groups and post-coup resistant forces seem unlikely to coalesce. For now, the military seems likely to hang on at a steadily mounting cost to the country. Ethiopia began 2023, having ended the bloody Tigray conflict, but its initially positive outlook did not last long. Federal forces face insurgencies in the Amhara and Oromo regions, while strained relations with neighboring Eritrea add to the tensions. In July, officers in Niger mounted a coup, cementing military rule across the Sahel, following similar takeovers in Mali and Burkina Faso. So far, the juntas have some popular backing due partly to their anti-Western rhetoric, but they have yet to make headway in fighting jihadists or solving the region's other problems. A Kenyan-led mission is due to deploy to Haiti soon to help bring hyper-violent gangs to heal and pave the way for elections. The gangs have wrought havoc. Tens of thousands of Haitians are displaced and nearly half the population is in need of life-saving aid. But politics may get in the way of peace. The unpopular acting prime minister, who has resisted forming a cross-party coalition, might seek to use the mission to consolidate his own power. Azerbaijan's rapid offensive in Nagorno-Karabakh last September ended the enclave's de facto self-rule and displaced over 100,000 ethnic Armenians. Talks between Azerbaijan and Armenia have shown promise. But challenges persist regarding border demarcation and a land corridor to the Azerbaijani enclave of Nakhchivan. If negotiations stall, Baku may resort to pressure tactics, potentially even including border incursions. The November meeting between President Joe Biden and Chinese Premier Xi Jinping was a welcome step towards lowering the temperature between the two big powers. But their fundamental rivalry persists, with hawks on both sides speaking of zero-sum competition in the Asia-Pacific. Taiwan remains one source of volatility. Another is the increasingly frequent encounters between Chinese and U.S. planes and ships in the South China Sea. These are Crisis Group's 10 conflicts to watch for the year ahead.